Kentucky flash floods hit at least 25 people. The death toll in flood-stricken parts of eastern Kentucky climbed to at least 25. It will almost certainly get worse as first responders work to account for missing residents, the state's governor said. Governor Andy Bashir said the immediate goal is to get as many people to safety as possible. Following what officials have described as unprecedented flooding in the region. Hundreds of people have been rescued by air and water in recent days by National Guard members from Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, as well as by officers from the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife and State Police. Governor said it's a really hard thing right now with how wide the destruction is and areas that are impacted to get any firm number of people that are missing. Cell phone service is still out in some countries and water systems are overwhelmed. One hospital had no water. The mayor said the city's water treatment plant is completely offline, with more than 20,000 residents relying entirely on shipments of bottled water. And even after the flood waters recede, many will not be able to rebuild. Rescue efforts have been hindered due to power outages persisting Saturday with more than 13,000 homes and businesses remaining in the dark. Massive floodwaters washed out home in several countries, leaving some residents scrambling to their rooftops to escape the deadly flooding. Officials believe thousands have been affected by the storms and efforts to rebuild some areas may take years, the governor said. Hazard Mayor Dono Happy Mobellini said, We've got a team of coroners here working the three-county area with cadaver dogs just trying to find people and identify people. Mobellini added his discussions with officials in Perry, Breathitt and North counties lead him to believe the final figure won't be far higher than the official death toll of 25. It's over 30, some total, for just our three counties, and I think that's just the tip of the iceberg, truthfully, Mobellini said. This is BBS News. Thank you for listening, and goodbye.